Hey guys, Nick with 2, how do you do? Uh, this video I'm going to go over um, uh, the Kershaw Chill. I pimped it again. As you can see, I made some new scales for it. Um, these are the old original black scales with some light, non light texturing. And I made some uh, toxic green with a just smooth. Here uh, is the right side scale, and here's the left side scale. Hopefully, this is in frame. Yeah, it's in frame. Okay. Um, this thing is perfect. Apart, uh, I didn't get the exact thickness as these. This is like 0 .04, uh, I think. Let me check. 0 .04 inch toxic green. Uh, I got this one and uh, this earth and coyote brown from Alpha Knife Supply. Uh, good stuff. I just, I just received this in the mail. Some black and red uh, G10. Hopefully I can use that for a folder I'm going to be making. I also got some standoffs and pivots and stuff but um, not much until I finish the folder. So uh, this, is, this is what I did with the, the Kershaw Chill. Since since the Toxic Green is just the tiniest bit thinner, I couldn't countersink as deeply as uh, these are. So the screws uh, uh, are out a little bit more, but since I don't mind that at all, they're smooth and um, it's fine. I had to shave down these uh, screws the pocket clip screws so they wouldn't uh, uh, hinge the blade and make it uh, not open. Uh, I did this little portion right here. Let's see if you can see that. Let's focus. Where it's cut out and uh, uh, in the G10 for the liner lock right here on this side. It didn't go as deep, so uh, when it gets about here, it's a little tight, but the detent and when it's fully open, it's it's fine. But right around, right around there, it gets a little um, tight, but you can uh, flip it open just as easily uh, with the original scales. Uh, both scales are fully beveled all the way around the, the edge, um, more so than the original scales. Um, I did this all by hand. This thing is perfect. It's exactly on the liner. Because um, I took a the little sanding wheel and just went along the liner with it. So the liner may be a little scratched up, but I'm totally fine with that. Sorry if I'm getting this dirty. It just uh, my hands are a little dirty. Um, you saw before I, I used the acid etching to etch the blade. Um, but now with these green liners, it looks a lot better than it did with these black liners. Um, you know, just even just a solid color change, as opposed to like a, a black and black and red, black or coyote two layer G10s, it still looks a hell of a lot better than the original. Um, and with the smooth um, G10, as opposed to this lightly textured G10, it doesn't really matter. Um, the shape of the handle will keep you from slipping or anything. And uh, that's about it. Uh, really proud of this guy. Um, again, that little, the thickness difference was enough that I had to shave down the screw so it wouldn't hit the blade. But other than that, everything uh, else uh, is perfect. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to carry this a lot more and show it off more just because it's pretty unique. 
So that is the Kershaw Chill. Uh, pimped. Remember, keep your knife sharp, your mind sharper. I'm Nick Wu too. Thanks for watching.